So here's a parenting topic we can all relate to. Do your friends have a right to be annoyed if your toddler is having a tantrum? So a mom wrote to the Washington Post wanting to know if she was wrong to sit and talk her two-year-old through a meltdown, holding everyone up on the way to a wedding. So was that wrong? Should you inconvenience your friends while you try to calm your kid down? What do you think? Well, there's two questions here. Should, if you're a parent and your kid's having a tantrum, should you try and address the tantrum? Sure. And the other question is, can the friends around you be annoyed that your kid is having a tantrum? Well, are you annoyed if your kid is having a tantrum? <laughs> if, if the answer is, if the answer is yes, and that's your kid, and you love your kid more than anybody else, then me, if I'm your friend, and I don't love your kid the way you love your kid, of course I'm gonna be annoyed. And I think being annoyed is allowed, but being annoyed doesn't mean I can't also be helpful. I can be annoyed, and it's really annoying, and I can be like, can I get you some water? Do you want me to run and get like a carrot? Or distract the kid for us? Or yes. whatever. Another yeah. way that I can help is my ma, when we were growing up, she was known as the scary dragon lady. Like if there were kids who were misbehaving around my ma, all they had to do was look at her face and they'd stop whatever they were doing yeah. to be bad kids. And I can be that for you. Like I can now <laughs> just say, look at Auntie Lainey's face. <laughs> <laughs> Your child might stop the tantrum, but it doesn't mean that I can't be helpful. But I don't think that this woman, like this woman was asking, you know, should my friends have been annoyed? And I think it's natural to be sure. annoyed. Yeah, it is. Sure. But it's, it's, it's also about preparation, right? Because I've got two kinds of kids kids that are tired and kids that are not. And the thing that I learned at the toddler stage is sometimes you can't bring your kids everywhere and anywhere when they're tired. These people are on a way to a wedding. And I'm thinking, uh, so maybe you get a sitter for the wedding. Maybe, maybe that's what you do. Because if they're tired and you're dragging them along because you have your own schedule, you have your own place, it's not fair. And kids will be kids, they get tired. They can't pull the hours that we pull. So sometimes it's about organizing things too. I think that, how do you remember the toddler yeah. stage. You remember the toddler stage. You have to choose the two, right? Yeah, exactly. The two. I mean, they're the not babies anymore. No. And then I was up there, get in that car. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was me. I was your mom, exactly. I was just scary yeah. mom. Scary mom. But don't you because find like, like they're strong though, the kids. Like the thing is is that you people who don't have kids or 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 maybe who remember a different time, you, just, you yank your kid yeah. in their like and you just throw them in the car. That's what that's what some people think. That's no. what some people like who yeah. are like, you know, just just throw your kid in the car. Yeah. It's actually not that easy. No. They are strong. They are strong. They yes. are wiggly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So and they make themselves straight. They make themselves like they little go, boards. Yeah, yeah. They go like this. All yeah. those things. Yeah, and, and, and it's really hard. Yeah. And that's the thing is, before yeah. I had kids, I was just yeah. like so irritated by people. Like, take care of your kid, whatever. But now that I've gone through it, I am so conflicted. And I've done it all. I've yelled in his face when he's upset. I've calmed down. I've tried the hugging method. And no matter what, you're going to get judgment, right? Yeah. From somebody who's watching Absolutely. around by. You are. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, <laughs> bribing. What was ever wrong with bribing? <laughs> Nothing. It can still <laughs> work. It still it works. Still exactly. Works. What do they want here? He's like, you got it. Oh, great. The other part, though, which is this is the, the harder part of parenting, is to not have a knee jerk reaction. Of course, it's natural for me on the inside to be frustrated or embarrassed or like, oh my God, are you doing this now? Are you doing this here? Kids don't care about your schedule. They don't care about timelines and deadlines. They don't care. In fact, if they know, that's when usually a tantrum is going to happen, right? But the flip side is also taking the way that we were raised by our parents, which was a certain way, which was usually the grab maybe even a smack and a throw in the car. Mm -hmm. We don't do that today, thank goodness, we don't do that. But it is also the hardest thing for me, especially having a very astute daughter, is she's watching how the adults, including mom, react to her tantrum. Because I'm trying to teach her the right way to behave when life has a meltdown. Because I can't have a tantrum like a two-year-old, even though I want to sometimes, <laughs> right? Where our job is to model the right reaction and they are taking cues by not only mom, dad, and friends, every single person around them to how they have a tantrum to try to give them the tools to how to handle it right so that the next time you don't want to like think of throwing them in the car and just being like, shut up. Please. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. All do of that, that sounds really fun. Um, yeah. Okay. Well.